Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be about two trends that have been shown in New York Fashion Week. Um, the first of which is Pale and Dandy, which incorporates very luminous, almost moonlit skin. A very defined brow or no brow at all. Um, since mine are kind of dark, um, I just decided not to fill them in. Perfect if you have very light brows to begin with. Um, and the next trend I'm focusing on is Diatribe, which includes a lot of sheer washes of color. Um, it was described as being um, light shown through a colored glass onto your skin, making it look almost as if it's a part of your own skin. Um, and I chose pink today as my color, but you don't have to use the same shades. It's a very easy look to do, and it's very bright and fresh, perfect for spring. So if you want to learn how to do this, just keep watching. So because we're focusing on soft washes of color, you don't have to necessarily wear an eyeshadow base if you want your own natural skin to show through. But I'm just going to apply a little bit of painterly just to even out the skin tone on my eyelids. I'm just quickly smoothing over a small amount. So the first eyeshadow we're going to take is CD Pearl and it's this light pink eyeshadow. It kind of has a pink duochrome to it. I'm going to take that with my 227 brush and apply it all over my eyelid. The next color I'm going to take is a little darker pink. Um, it's called De Bling. And I'm going to take that with a 224 brush because again, I don't want to put down too much color. So I'm going to focus that right in the crease and I'm going to apply it in circular motions and back and forth motions. You just want to follow the sh natural shape of your eye and give yourself a more defined crease without being too harsh. Right, now to give my crease a little more definition, I'm going to take this color called Purple Shower and I believe this was from the MAC Cosmetics collection back in the summer but you can use any bright pink. And I'm going to take that right in the crease in the outer corner. I'm kind of just pressing it on first to find the crease and then brushing it back and forth. You kind of want to also bring it down into your lashes. If you want to make it a little darker, you can. So once again, find the crease and then apply the color bringing it up into the crease and down into the lashes. The next color I'm going to take is Brulee, which is a satin ivory color. Taking that with my 224 brush and just dusting it under my eyebrow. And it's just going to even out the skin tone up here and leave a nice highlight. If you have a darker skin tone, you can use something like Arena as a highlight so it's not too harsh. And then I'm going to take Floof, which is kind of like a white um, frost eyeshadow with a little bit of a pink tint to it. I'm going to take that with um, a more dense angled brush. This one's a little smaller so it'll fit perfectly right under my eyebrow. And I'm taking that at the highest point of the arch and just defining that line. And I'm also going to take some in the inner corner of my eye using my 224 brush. So kind of squirrel it into that corner. eyebrows I don't want to fill them in for this look so I'm gonna run some clear brow gel over them and this is just a clear mascara from Maybelline that I've had you just want to brush the eyebrows into place and then I'm gonna take my 217 brush with the same medium pink color that we use in the crease and apply this on my lower lash line I just want to brush this lightly all the way around I don't want there to be any harsh lines, so that's why I'm using a fluffier brush. For a little more definition, I'm going to take Purple Shower with a 219 pencil brush and apply it closer to my lashes. I'm going to go around with this, back up into the crease. Now what I'm doing is I'm just bringing that shade all the way through to kind of define my eye shape a little more and blending it out with my 224 brush. So I curled my lashes. Um, I'm not using any liner today because I don't want to take away from the look. You want this look to be very bright, very open-eyed. Liner will only make your eyes look smaller. So I'm using Studio Fix Lash to define my lashes and separate them. And I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. And the first thing I'm going to apply is 
under eye concealer and I'm not going to use my fingers this time I'm actually going to show you a trick when you apply your concealer whether it's the moisture cover or any concealer that you have it's best to use a fluffy brush because that way it won't look caked on it won't look like you have a lot of concealer under your eyes it'll just apply the right amount of concealer in the right places and make it look more airbrushed and natural and I'm only applying a small amount and if I need more I can add more later I just don't want to have to put too much on and then try to blend it out so I'm kind of patting it and brushing it downwards and just thinning out that layer and covering the whole area so rather than applying a lot of concealer all the way around and trying to blend that in this one gives you a more natural look while still giving you a good coverage and now with the same brush that I use to apply my under eye concealer I'm going to apply my face concealer and I'm just swirling into my concealer and this is Studio Finish Concealer in NC20 in order to cover blemishes and have it look like you're not trying to cover a pimple or any kind of redness this is another technique that you can try. I have a blemish right here and in order to cover it what I'm going to do is I'm going to press in the concealer and blending around it to fade away any harsh lines. If you brush over it while you're applying your concealer you're only taking it off as you put it on. I've been using um, Max Mineralize Skin Finish Natural as my foundation. I just cover any kind of blemishes with concealer and then I buff this in with the 150 powder brush. I pack a lot onto the brush and just press it onto my skin to get the best coverage. Now just to brighten up the area under my eyes, I'm going to be using Luna. Just with my finger, I'm going to apply it right at the tops of the cheekbones and a little bit under my eyes. I'm focusing a lot on highlighting because in one of the trends, um, in the Pale and Dandy trend, it almost looks as if there's moonlight hitting your face and it looks very very dewy okay and then I'm going to be taking um, Max Blush Ombre and this came out with the Color Wave collection Azalea Blossom and I'm taking that with a 129 blush brush I'm kind of just swirling the brush into the powder mixing the two colors together and applying this at the tops of my cheekbones and blending it up into the temple area and that gives you just a nice wash of pink almost as if it's showing through your skin and I'm taking my fluffy 224 brush and incorporating my blush into my eyeshadow so just connecting that onto my cheeks and my temple for my lips I'm going to be using just a the new cream sheen glass called Loud and Lovely and I'm just going to apply a light layer of it so it looks more like a stain mm -hmm. with a fashion scoop which is another cream sheen glass this also came out with uh, Loud and Lovely in the Too Fabulous collection I'm applying it right in the center of my lip to give it a little highlight and I'm actually going to take some of that floof eyeshadow, the white frosty shadow and apply it as my highlight over the Luna. The Luna is going to help it stand out a lot more. So that's it for the look. It's a very bright, fresh look. It incorporates two of the trends, Pale and Dandy and Diatribe. Just very luminous, moonlit skin and sheer washes of pink. I'm just throwing um, a little color theory in there. Um, this is a monochromatic look. It incorporates different shades of the same color, which is pink. Like I said, this is a perfect look for spring. If um, pink is not your color, you can definitely try the same look with other shades. Focus it on looking very sheer, almost like as if the colors are staining your skin. I'm going to be coming out with um, more videos focusing on trends and new collections that we've come out with um, at MAC. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you have any questions, just message me or leave me a comment and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye!